Want to launch a coaching program but don't have any clients yet? This video is for you. I am going to tell you exactly what to do to go out and get your first few clients. Maybe you're new to coaching, maybe you have taken some time off, or maybe you've recently changed your niche. Regardless of the reason, if you don't have clients coming in yet, it can feel really discouraging and really frustrating because the truth is, is that getting clients gets easier the more clients you get, right? Because when you get more clients, number one, you feel more confident. You have, you speak with more certainty about the results that you create because you're seeing the results that you're creating. Uh, you also know really what your ideal clients are struggling with, their words, what they're talking about, um, and you have success stories. So I always say that the first few clients are always the hardest to get, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do in this video. By the way, if we're just meeting, I'm Laura, and I help coaches get clients with copy that converts. Listen, I know that it sucks. If you feel like you're doing all of the things, posting content, making offers, going and engaging with people online, uh, creating freebies and lead magnets, and it just sort of feels like none of it's working, none of it's building momentum, none of it's taking off. A lot of times getting those first few clients can really feel like the hardest, but it doesn't have to be that hard. You can actually do it pretty easily. That doesn't mean that it doesn't require some legwork, it does, but there are some really simple steps you can do the first time just to get over the hump of getting those first few clients so that you can really build that momentum and get that ball rolling. It's kind of like the concept of a flywheel. It's a little bit of effort to push to get it off the ground, but then once it gets rolling, it kind of starts to build momentum and starts even pulling you along. Don't be afraid to put in this little bit of extra legwork, although it's very simple in the beginning, and know that you don't have to keep doing this over and over and over. Let's jump into what exactly I'm talking about. First of all, if you're not yet enrolling clients into your coaching, you're probably not being clear and specific enough with your offer. Sorry, I hate to tell you that, but it's the truth. I want you to get so clear and specific about exactly the problem that you're solving for people and the result that you're creating with your program or with your offer. And then tell them what your plan, your pathway, or your bridge to get them from point A to point B is. Once they see that, oh, she solves my specific problem, she gets me the specific result that I want, and she has a very clear pathway that's likely to get me there, it's going to become so much easier to sell your coaching offers. This problem shows up in two places. Number one, it could be in your offer itself. Your offer may just not have a specific result or a specific problem or a clear and direct path to get them from point A to point B. And if that's the case, you really need to work on your offer. But the other place that this can show up is actually in your copy. It may be that actually you do have a very tangible result and you do solve a specific problem, uh, but that's not being communicated clearly enough in your copy, or it's a little bit jumbled or swimming around in your mind. I can always tell this whenever I'm on a group coaching call and I ask somebody, what's the problem you solve? or what's the result you create? And they give me the opposite, right? So if I ask them, what's the problem you solve? And they tell me the result. Or if I ask, what's the result you create? And they tell me the problem. I can see these concepts are really kind of swimming in their mind. And when they're communicating them, it's coming out confusing, even if it could be really clear if they, if they just got clear on them themselves. So sit down and go, okay, what really is the problem? And if somebody asked me the problem specifically, could I give them the answer directly? Is it specific, clear? Do I know exactly what it is? Same thing on the result. Is it tangible? Is it direct? Do I know exactly what that result is? Do I know exactly what my pathway between these are? And are those things clear in my mind when I'm writing about them and talking about them? Once you have gotten very clear and specific with your offer, I actually want you to get your first few clients built on relationships. What do I mean by that? Most of the work I do is about bringing clients to you through your copy. Meaning I help people write content and social media 
get that bring people to them in their DMs, write emails that get people to either reply back or book calls from their copy. So you're not having to get in a pattern of chasing down sales or hustling down sales through relationships or DMing or cold messaging or any of that nonsense. Your copy is bringing people to you for sales conversation. That is what I really work with people on. But in this case, you do get to do that little extra legwork I was talking about to go out and just get a few clients. It's one thing I want you to start looking at it differently is it's not that hard. It's not like this hustle, this push, this grind. It really is, I'm gonna go out and get my first few clients, kind of get that under my belt so that I have all of those advantages that come with actively working with people. Here's exactly what you're going to do. You are going to contact everyone and ask them to have a coffee chat with you. Everyone, everyone in your current audience, everyone if you have an email list on your current email list, friends even, family members, you are going to have lots and lots of coffee chats. Let's say for the sake of this example, you book 50 coffee chats and you just meet with people, you talk with them, you connect with them, you tell them what you're doing. Of those 50 people, let's say only 10 of them kind of start to lean in, ask questions, get curious, show interest when you start talking about what you do. That's very reasonable. Out of 50 coffee chats, you only need 10 people to say, hmm, that's interesting, tell me more, to really show interest, or as we like to call them, buying signals, that they're interested in your offer. Let's say out of those 10 people, five of them agree to come have a sales conversation with you. So you book five sale, actual sales conversations from those coffee chats. When you have five sales conversations, you should be able to book at least one to two of them. Now you have one to two clients. Now you have something to work with. Imagine if though, instead of 50 coffee chats, you have 75 or you have 100. Uh, those numbers become even larger. Yes, this is going to be time consuming. Yes, it's going to be a lot of work. And no, you're not going to want to do it this way forever. Remember, this is just to get those first few clients so you can get that momentum going. Then you don't have to worry about it anymore. You have your first few clients. You're not in this place of not having clients yet. Now we're building. By the way, if you've gotten any value from this video, please like it and subscribe. Number one, you'll get more content like this that you find valuable. And number two, I am on a mission to make coaching mainstream, to help more people see the value of having this support in their life, of gaining this support in their life. And when you subscribe when you like it helps me get that message out in a bigger way so please it would mean the world to me okay using the coffee chat method you've gotten at least two to three clients that way there's really no reason to not have any clients everyone can go out get two or three clients using this method. Now you're building confidence. There's nothing that's going to build confidence like working with clients actively. You're seeing their results. You're getting to practice your craft. You're like, yeah, this really works. And you're feeling more connected to your calling because you're actually living it. You're actually moving towards it. And when you're feeling that connection to your calling and when you're feeling that confidence, now it's becoming a lot easier for you to sell, for you to show up on video, for you to share copy, because you're coming from that place of confidence, charisma, energy that pull people into you. Number two, you're starting to gain client stories and client testimonials that are showing other people that, hey, you actually can help them solve a problem. You actually can help them create a result. And you can use that to build belief in others to come start being your client too. Number three, you can start asking for and getting referrals. You can ask your client, hey, who else do you know that could benefit from this work that we're doing together? Give me just one name, one person, right? So you can start getting referrals from your existing clients. And then finally, you can start using the words that your clients are saying to write your copy for you. I always say that copy isn't written, it's assembled. Meaning we're taking those pieces and we're just putting them together like Legos. And those pieces come from the words your clients are using. I suggest you keep a document 
or a journal or some place where you are collecting everything your clients are saying on your calls, not every single word, but all every time they're talking about their pain points, every time they're talking about their problems, every time they're talking about their hopes or dreams for the future, you want to write those down and then those become the words in your copy. I actually keep a document uh, on my Google Drive that's just literally called shit my clients say. And in that document, I just, after each coaching call, I go in and I write down just shit my clients said during that coaching call. And then that becomes my copy. Now you have something to work with. Now you have words, the actual words you can use to make your copy really effective. So when it feels like, oh, I'm doing all the things and I'm not getting all the results. Now you're doing the things. Now you're posting, but your words are more dialed in to their pain points. They're more dialed in to their desires. And you're using those exact words that pull people in. And suddenly your content actually starts working to bring people in and you're not feeling like you're doing all the things but none of it's landing anymore you're feeling like oh now it's actually really resonating with and speaking to people and they're coming into me and that my friend makes all the difference so as you're writing that content that's really going to speak super directly to your best clients and fill your coaching business, you're going to need to write some awesome hooks. That's why I put together 292 hook templates for you. You can get the link to download them for free in the description. Get them below. And after you've used this video to get you a few clients, I want you to go watch my video on how to pre-launch to sell out your group coaching program. Uh, it's going to give you some great next steps.